bought at the Goodwill for $4. This is absolutely incredible. I bought it because of its markings, put it on auction on eBay, sold for $450 within an hour and hid the money under the pad. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit on sites like eBay or Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook, wherever you wanna sell. Um, we are here to learn. I am gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Who sold the items? Members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and Bolo Buddies YouTube members. So um, what I did is I posted this in the Facebook group and I invited everybody to share their big money bolo. And I'm going to tell you again where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. So this is a great way to learn. The first item comes from Wayward Things One and this is her eBay store. And she's a new member. So definitely go check her out down below in the description. And what does it mean to be a member? That means that have joined my memberships for my YouTube channel at level two, which means they will get a pop-up of their eBay store or YouTube channel, and they will be linked down in the description of the video. If that interests you, you are more than welcome to join Bolo Buddies for perks. There's a link down in the description. If not, no worries. You are welcome to go over to the Facebook group and share for free. All right, let's get started here. My boss gave me his collection of 80s records to sell on commission, so no cost to me. Took about a month to sell. He, um, I'm sorry, had listed for 109 and took a best offer of 80. It was a great learning experience, researching and especially playtesting them, and had to be sure to research how to properly ship, which is very important to collectors. It is a vintage Motley Crue Dr. Feelgood vinyl LP from 1989, sold it for 80 bucks. This one comes from The Rebel Reseller. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and check her out. She has an awesome YouTube channel and she is a bolo finder. She sells tons and tons of plush, but she's not showing us plush right now. So let's see what she sold. Purchased at an estate sale in a box with other pineapple items for $10. Sold for $71.95. Oh my goodness, I love this. It is a Minerware pineapple pitcher jug cup lot made in the USA and this is what it looks like. How cool is that? Found at an estate sale for $2. Oh my goodness, I just sold one of these. Oh, hers sold for way more, but I think it's much bigger than mine. That's so funny. We do source similar, similar items. You guys will love her channel. Okay, so found at an estate sale for 2 to $3, sold within an hour for $69.95. I found mine at the Goodwill Benz and it was beat up. Um, Tommy Fashion, it's either Tommy or Toomey, Fashion Plates Designer Kit from 1978. And this is what it looks like. All right. 25 cents into 25 on best offer. I turned down lots of under 20 offers. Got it at an estate sale where they had kept their kids and grandkids baby clothes. Vintage baby carriage boutiques, 12 month shorts, red embroidered and flowers. So it's a little girl's um, dress. Is it a dress or a romper? Might be a romper. I don't know. So uh, 25 cents into 25. That's fantastic. This one comes from the Kitsch, uh, Kitschy Kitschy. This one comes from the Kitschy Canson. Um, bought this tip soda bottle crate from an individual for $30. It has a stamp date on the inside, 1947. Listed it for $250 because one hadn't been listed or sold since 2016. Took three weeks to sell and I accepted a best offer of $150. And this is what it looks like. It's a vintage 1947 drink tip soda bottle wooden crate advertising Mountain Dew with 30 slots. Here is another one from her. She said, I bought this wed wedge wood pitcher in a consignment auction lot, paid less than five for each piece in the lot. 
sold in less than two months for full asking price of $50. It's a rare vintage Wedgwood American Heritage Admiral Lord Nelson Pottery Milk Pitcher. Bought at a local clearance thrift similar to the Goodwill Bins. Paid 18 cents. Wow. Didn't know the brand, but grabbed because I thought the pattern was weird enough to sell. Brand is Quilo? Q-I-L-O. I don't know how to say that. Did comps when I got home and was shocked to see that everything from this brand is a bolo. The brand sells tactical clothing. Sold in less than a week on eBay for my full asking price of $135.99 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. This is another one from the Kitsch Kitschke. Oh, Kitsy. Oh, I had it. Now I forget. Oh, that's awful. Kitschy. Kitschy. Oh, got to remember that. The Kitschy Canson. Bought this Esterbrook fountain pen in a consignment auction lot. Paid pennies for it. Listed it for 100 and sold it in less than two months for a best offer of 65 Picked up a lot of wooden items at a yard sale a couple years ago. The pineapple tiered serving platter sold fairly quickly for about 100 These bowls took a year and a half, but I was pleased with the return. I still have a wooden fruit bowl if anyone is interested with a laughy face. Um, it, may, it would make a fabulous white elephant gift. I'm estimating these were about $10, sold for $69 plus shipping. They are monkey pod wooden tiki small carved wood bowls. Lot of eight. So she was patient and she made a good profit. All right. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds. And she said, I got this eight CD box set at an estate sale that has been going for on for six days. I paid $1 for it and it sold for $159.96. It is new capital recording, Louis Prima Kelly or Keeley Smith collection, Sam Butera box set of eight CDs. That is awesome. This one comes from Flippin' It Good. And he said, I found them at the bins. So he usually finds things retail arbitrage at like Ross and TJ Maxx and Burlington and those places. And he picks up stuff like this. So when I saw this at first, I thought this was a retail arbitrage, but no, he got it at the Goodwill bins. Flipping it good on YouTube. Check him out. He said, I'm into it three bucks. They sold quick for 140 plus shipping and they took three weeks to sell. They are Nike total 90 three soccer cleats men's nine so he picks up a lot of cleats he sells tons of cleats all right this one comes from ebay store dreams of italy and she said my dream is to take my amazing husband to italy she said i found this butterfly brooch at a yard sale paid three dollars for a bag of jewelry and this brooch was in it so the average cost was 10 cents each it looked different than any other brooch i had seen I put it on Facebook jewelry identification. Someone had suggested it might be Shriners. I think that's how you say it. I did an online evaluation. They could not confirm or deny it, but they did say that it had all the attributes of a Shriners. I did an auction on eBay um, with all the information I found and sold it for $295. I am a part-time reseller, but plan to become full-time reseller. And dreams of Italy. And this is what the uh, brooch looks like. And if you don't know, Shriner, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, is an amazing big money bolo brooch brand. Weird yard sale. I walked into the garage and expected the seller to come out eventually. Took my time looking up items, including this $5 G.I. Joe. She never came out. Even I knocked twice. <laughs> They had kids, so I assumed a child emergency saw the notepad they were tracking sales on. So I wrote down what I took, left the stickers if the item had one, and hid the money under the pad of paper, uh, all $7.50 of it. Listed for 16 days. Slow month, so I took an offer of 113 Buyers all in for 135 That is hilarious. Like, what do you do when they don't come to the door? I would have done the same thing. Like, I am getting this G.I. Joe. Here is your money. I love it. I love it. I probably would have maybe done the same thing. But who leaves their garage sale with the 
the door open, that's that's different. That's different. This one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty, and she's she has an eBay store, but she is also starting a YouTube channel. So sub her up down below. Bought it an online estate sale for fifteen. Sadly, it didn't work um, on batteries and could not test it because it did not come with a plug. So I listed it untested, sold at full price for $70. It's a Craig 212 reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder player and microphone. And there it is, untested because she couldn't test it. Still sold for big money. Here's another one from Cat Feeling Thrifty. Purchased these online, local estate auction. They were in a box with a bunch of other utensils, all dirty and grimy. I spotted these in the picture of the box and I knew they were Cutco. Bought, brought them home. My husband helped me clean up the wood and sold for full asking price, maybe $2 in them. And she sold them for $98. They are vintage Cutco five-piece utensils with the wall mount. Nice bolo. Here's another one from Cat Feeling Thrifty. Bought these from an estate sale. I love this one, by the way. Uh, because Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, she always gives me a hard time because I don't pick up Tupperware. So this is kind of a maybe I should pick up Tupperware. Bought these from an estate sale of a friend's family estate. Paid about $5 for the set. Sold for full asking price of $75. These are vintage Tupperware Servalier canisters yellow and they're nesting. So they're great for shipping because you can just nest them together and ship in a box. Uh, and those are really cool. They have a really cool look to them. I probably would have picked those up if I'm being honest. Purchased this at my local clearance thrift, paid 15 cents, sold in less than 24 hours. It is a device that is used inside dental offices that connects to the machine that makes crowns. So here is what I would say to that. That is awesome. Um, it sold for $270 as long as it is not um, something that eBay doesn't allow you to sell, like a prescription item or something like that. Uh, medical devices, I'm not really sure... Um, if there's any restrictions on that or not, please let me know down in the comments. Um, great bolo if it's allowed. Um, definitely pick it up and sell it if you can find it. But uh, if you're not allowed to sell it, don't sell it because it can compromise your account. It might be completely fine. I don't know, you guys. I'm just giving you a heads up just to be safe. Antique Chinese Incense Pot. Bought at the Goodwill for $4. This is absolutely incredible. I bought it because of its markings, put it on auction on eBay, sold for $450 within an hour. My first antique sale, I was so excited. If I didn't have a badly patched, if it didn't have a badly patched over hole, it would have gone for more. But this was awesome anyway. She said she put it on auction, but she must have took an offer within an hour of 450. Would you guys have let the auction ride? 450 is a lot of money, especially if you paid four bucks for it. This one comes from YouTube channel Stellar Seller Sam. She has a new YouTube channel. You guys are going to love it. Go and sub her up. This one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds, and this is her eBay store. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. Bought a lot of four auction win prints at an estate sale from a well-known sports artist in the NFL and NLB field. I paid $10 for four and they were in plastic bags laying on a garage. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Laying on a garbage can in the garage. Wow. Emmett Smith and Troy Aikman. And what'd she say they are? Um, they're prints. She sold them for 120 bucks. Wow, that is fantastic. Okay, so this next one she bought a pile of mixed Beatles cards from Donatella Bottolino on her YouTube auction. So if you don't know, Donatella Bottolino and Auctions For You, they both go live on their YouTube channels and sell to resellers. Uh, Donatella is now on Whatnot, and so is T. Um, auctions For You, I think she has a T at the beginning or the end, I can't remember. Um, but they are both on Whatnot now. If you guys are not on Whatnot, I do have a link down below. It is a referral link. So you are going to get $15 of free money if you use that link to join. So you can go on Whatnot and you can buy something to resell. You can buy something for yourself. But definitely join below and follow me. I am Bolo Buddies over there. All right. So what she says is I bought a pile of mixed Beatles cards from Donatella Bottolino on her YouTube auction. 
I got three different 1960s partial series sets out of the lot. I paid 45, sold these two lots and have the largest first edition still listed. These sold for pretty fast, priced in the middle of solds and, and extreme asking prices. So she sold one set for 100 and the other set for $42.99 and she still has the best set listed and paid $45 for all of it. So that's an incredible reseller lot. This one she bought from the other gal I was talking about, Auctions For You. Purchased a mixed jewelry lot from T Auctions For You on YouTube Auction. I paid $75 for two draw, I'm sorry, paid $75 to draw two prizes. I received many pieces and have sold most of them for great profits. Mercari and eBay sales, International London. So you got this sterling silver piece right here with tanzanite and she sold that for 94 and the other is a sterling silver ornate red jade unisex ring that she sold for 89.99 right here so great profits on those this next one comes from amazing steals and deals he paid 20 dollars at an estate sale for this and sold it for full asking price within eight hours this man is like one of the biggest bolo finders i have ever seen i I just can't even believe the stuff he finds. His eBay store is linked down below. You have got to go look it out. Look it out. You have got to go look at it. Um, I was actually speaking with him earlier um, on Messenger, and I'm like, you have totally got to start a YouTube channel because you sell the most amazing stuff. Like, everybody would watch you because you guys would learn so much from him. But anyway, it's a Christian Dior signed, very rare necklace, uh, blue lapis, Lazil, Lazil, I don't know how to say that. Very hard to find mint. He sold this costume Christian Dior piece that he paid $20 at an estate sale for $525. Just wow, right? This next one, he paid $100 for a mystery jewelry box. This was in the box. Had about $5 in the item, sold for full asking price in two, off, in two hours. So he got this from Donatella Bottolino on her YouTube channel. She was doing $100 mystery jewelry boxes. They were all laid out. And I, if I remember correctly, she had a video on it. And it was like a, a buy it now deal. And people would put in the chat which box they wanted. I think that's the one he got it from. But don't quote me on that. Maybe this was something different. But anyway, um, he sold this for $510. It's a 14 karat reversible Omega necklace, yellow and white gold. And yeah, 510 bucks. And he had like five bucks into it because he had a whole box of jewelry for a hundred bucks. He said he did send Donna an extra $210 because he's like one of the most generous people ever. So um, because he made so much money on it and he only paid a hundred for the box, that was just something nice he did. That is not expected or something that happens on a regular basis. So don't feel bad if you sell something for crazy money and don't give the person you bought it from extra money. Christopher is just very generous and um, he just hooked her up as a just a nice gift gesture. So um, really awesome there. Paid $100 and it sold in three days for full asking price. So he also is not afraid to pay up for an item if he knows it has value. He sold this ring. It is a Lee High School football ring, 10 karat gold from 1999. And he sold it for $800. The man is a machine. I'm telling you, amazing steals and deals. Go check out his store. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out down below. Uh, she has a great channel and it's all reseller content. She said, I bought in a lot of 40 vintage clip earrings on Shop Goodwill, paid less than a dollar, sold in about two months. Buyer was all in for over 53 plus whatever they spent for overseas fees. St. John gold tone topaz colored fauceted clip-on earrings sold for 48.17. All right, this one right here. Bought one brooch and a brooch lot for about a dollar. Second set I paid 13 on a YouTube auction from another reseller, Mama G, for 13. So I had about 14 total in. Sold in about a month. Buyer used store coupons, so their grand total was $59.74. This was an international sale, so they had to, had to have paid a lot for shipping as well. 
uh, vintage brooch, silver tone, filigree oval, blue oval. It's a brooch. And then the other one looks like this. So this is what they look like. It's easier to just show you the description is kind of cut off. $69.47 for the set. I bought this, I bought a box of over 50 mini charms and pendants for $8 from a YouTube reseller. So had pennies into this. Couldn't believe my eyes when I found this small retired James Avery St. Teresa cross sterling pendant. Cross posted to eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari and sold on a best offer of $36 on Mercari in two weeks. And this is what it looks like. And um, she is talking about cross posting. So I am going to bring up the cross posting service that I use. It is list perfectly and I love it. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. Uh, the more you cross post, the more eyes and different eyes you have on your items. So you're going to get more sales. It will pay for itself. Um, so it is a monthly payment that you pay. Um, I do have a video. It looks like this. You can go check that out. It will show you exactly how to cross post. In this video, I show you how to use the catalog and I also show you how to just cross post without the catalog. You can do it either way. Uh, the catalog definitely has its perks and I do talk about some of that in the video. So watch the video if you think it's something that you would use and it would benefit you for your business. You can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month. Highly, highly recommend it. I've been using it since 2019. You guys, cross-posting works. Okay, this one comes from... This was given to me back in the 1990s when Creative Memories was popular. It sold for $37 on auction between two bidders. Um, this comes from DeCamper's Great Finds. And she is a new Bolo Buddies member, and this is what her eBay store looks like. So definitely go down and give her a little heart. You can click on that heart. You will get notifications if she posts a coupon and when she lists new items in her eBay store. So go show her some love with a follow. This next one, um, it says, owned this Victorian candy box since the 1970s. Don't remember what I paid for it, but sold it for $105. And... It's a Valentine's Day candy chocolate, bo chocolate box, St. Louis with fork, I think is what it says. It's kind of small, but I'll pop it up bigger there for you guys. Okay. I picked up a $2 bag of action figures at a yard sale full of Power Rangers treasures sold together with my coupon. They were about 78 Sold in less than a week. This one comes from Childhood Finds. And this are the swords that sold for $24.95. And then you've got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers White Ranger Special Edition Auto Morphin right here for $19.95. And uh, I'm sorry, from $19.95. And it sold for $66.95. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you would like to join memberships for perks, you can do that. There's a link down below. There's also a join button. Uh, a video should pop up and give you more information on how that works. Um, if you do not want to join memberships, that is absolutely fine. Absolutely no pressure. That is just if you want the perks, you can go and share in the Facebook group under this post. Anybody can share and I will feature you in the video. So just kind of a fun way to help others learn, get to see your bolo in a video. And I thank you all so much for the support. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it. And thank you for being here and thanks for watching. Leave me some sort of emoji. Have a great night. This one comes from Mom Knows Trevor.